The one leg stand is one of the three field sobriety tests that the officers give. And basically, they're having you stand on one leg. You choose which leg you want to lift approximately six inches above the ground. Uh, the officer is basically, once again, giving you instructions, having you do a physical movement, and seeing if you can do both at the same time. There's uh, basically four clues that the officers are looking at. Uh, the first clue is while you're lift, you lifted up your, your one foot, whichever one you choose, and whether or not you're swaying. And uh, at that point, that's a clue. Uh, the second thing is if you use your arms for balance. People put their arms out and try to use your arms for balance. You're supposed to keep your arms by your side, and the most you're supposed to go out is approximately six inches from your side. But if you bring it up like most people do, like an acrobat, putting their arms directly across, uh, that would be the second clue. Uh, the third clue would be even hopping. You're on one foot and you start hopping around. Obviously, that's a big clue. And then uh, the last clue is when you put your foot down. Once you put your foot down, if they feel that you are too intoxicated or impaired to uh, finish the test, they're going to stop the entire test. If they think it's uh, some sort of risk that you can hurt yourself, they'll stop the entire test. But those are the four clues. Out of the fo those four clues, they're only looking for two. So when you get two, you failed. There's uh, reasons that someone will fail, and there are defenses. I mean, it's almost the same as a walk and turn where you're looking at somebody, uh, the type of shoes they're, they're wearing, the surface you're on. Of course, your one leg stand, you're trying to balance yourself on one leg and with all these instructions in your mind, six inches above the ground, toes pointed forward, arms by your side. That by itself, if you're on an uneven surface, you're pretty much bound, you're going to be putting your foot down. Um, the shoes, the injuries, if someone had prior injuries, the age again, once, uh, once again, takes place as 65 years or older or 50 pounds or heavier uh, uh, overweight. That's going to be an issue when it comes to trial. So those, those are definitely defenses and they are reasons why people fail. Some of the other basic reasons that they don't really take into account, obviously, could be anything from weather. Uh, for women that are wearing certain types of clothing and it's cold, uh, nervousness, uh, police officer uh, being just nervous right out the side of, of a road can make you uh, fail these tests.